follow my nose. <laughs> Hopefully we can fit that hag raven staff, if indeed she keeps her word. And if not, then uh, she shall join her sister in the afterlife quite shortly, yes? Simple enough. Brandar is a man of his word, most of the time. <laughs> Petra, Petra, cut her eyes. I've got Petra. Where's Petra, my staff? Petra, cut her eyes. Well, if I let you out, you give me the staff, yes? Do Open. You like my pretty tower? It's quite a nice tower, we yes. Up, yes, always up. Always up. Yes, awesome. let us go up. I'd pick her on the way. Oh. It seems she wants me to accompany her. Press only middle button. Clever trick, yes. Nobody only ever middle button. Brandar had to Carefully figure this out for himself. There's a trick to this. Trick is to not bleed to death. Ah, and there are never two. Ah. What a trick it is. Very nice. I should have brought this hag raven with me. Trusted her a bit more, no? Ah, my parlor. No finer place to boil her eyes, no. We'll find a place to boil eyes. Does this work? Is this broken? Melka! Oh. It is just a switch to turn off the uh, the blades which cut Brandar. Hmm. Alchemy? You like alchemy, do you? Put a bit of your hag raven feathers. Petra, Petra, cut her eyes. Petra, Petra. You you come with Brandar, no? Hmm. Seems she is a uh, not a bird of her word. Hag raven, you come with Brandar. Go. Go, go, go. We go up, yes. Always up. We go up. Did I see something in your pocket? Oh, you have no pockets. Where is your staff hidden? You tell Brandar. Hmm. Well, that is a shame. I'm sad to know that uh, I did all this work for nothing. Perhaps I will come back someday and take my vengeance. For now, I'm simply happy not to be eaten by this disgusting creature. Never trust a hag raven. That is what Brandar tells himself. Doesn't necessarily listen to himself, but uh, lesson learned, I do suppose. Now it is getting late. We must find the inn. Ah, this strange, strange place. Might I find my way out? We shall see. I can hardly remember which way I came in. Down? Around? Yes, this is the way. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth right before the bedtime. Hmm. Yes, we go here now. I think this is the way. What a labyrinth. Simply follow the, uh, the dead bodies. I read a story called, uh, the Hansel and the Gremel, something like that. Of two children, their parents abandoned them. Oh lord, why this? Ay, 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 ay. And uh, they end up slaying a witch. Much like the witch that we slayed in this place, hmm? 
Ah, a shame that we couldn't get our staff. I think that anybody who offers you a staff probably does not have one. And if they do have one, it uh, might not be the staff that you're thinking of. Hmm? Know what I'm talking about there? It's a bit of innuendo. Maybe there is a place to sleep. I certainly miss Richard. Ah, our little boy. He likes to go off on his own. Thinks he knows everything about Skyrim, doesn't he? Yes, indeed. And a fellow traveler. Hello to you. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight. If you'll excuse me. I will excuse you. And you, friend. Shrine of Azura. I think I remember hearing something of that. Is that the same fellow that we uh, met near Windhelm? Hmm. I smell uh, a bit of cooking. Perhaps there is something up this path. And I might like some meat, you know? I have a bit of goat meat in my bag, but uh... Yes! There's a couple of houses here. An entire village, even. Ah, my nose. Follow my nose! Well, let us uh, see if we might find some place to lay down for the night, hmm? Hello? Oh. Drama. Sure there's no Forsworn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. What, the, what is that? Did you kill this hag raven? Well, I don't understand where she comes from. Somebody want to explain this? No? This strange little town. When will some new have an inn? be open? I don't know. Whenever those silver blood men decide to leave. Silver rock mine? Perhaps Brandar could uh, open up this mine for you. Get rid of these men. If the price is right. <laughs> oh, nobody wants to talk to me. Pardon me, you? You should you? talk to Inafitch. He runs the mines. Used to, anyway. I'm not looking for the mine. Do, do you have an inn? Hmm. This is the biggest building. Can I must I assume you? that it is an inn. Hello there. Greetings to you. Uh, you do have an extra bed. Might Brandar stay with you for the night? If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town. The Nords are trying to force me off it. Hmm. Everybody wants a piece of the pie, isn't that the truth? Are uh, you having some trouble with uh, the the Silver Rock Mine? I heard you and those fellows arguing. Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. The Forsworn attack the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. Hmm. It's uh, quite a shame. Brandar is a bit of a cell sword himself, but uh, he's also a, a cell tongue. It's not as weird as it sounds, I promise you. Perhaps I could talk to these fellows and convince them to leave, either through sword or through tongue, hmm? You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. I always do, my friend. Uh, can you tell me a bit more about the Silver Bloods? A family of thieves. Running their corrupt empire from Markarth. The Silverblood family own half the Reach, and they won't stop until they own all of it. Hmm. Interesting. So I did hear uh, some whispers in Markarth that something less than uh, stellar might be happening there. The guards keep everything pretty hush hush, tell you not to ask questions, but. Uh, Naturally, Brandar's curiosity got the better of him, and he got some nasty looks for asking some things. Hmm. 
Are you in charge? Uh, would you be able to pay me for all of this work that I might do? My family has owned Carthwaston for generations. Rare for anyone in the Reach that isn't a Nord. Not that it does me any good. Nords think I'm working for the Forsworn. Forsworn think I'm working for the Nords. Interesting. I wonder who they think I am working for. Regardless, I thank you, friend. Uh, I might like to have a lay down in your bed if that would be uh, acceptable to you, hmm? Farewell. Well, perhaps not in your bed, but uh, a bed. Well, he said, don't, don't lay down there. That is not yours. Just let me borrow it. The single bed in the corner, Brandar would like. Ah. There is no inn here. Brandar will end up sleeping outside under the stars, I suppose. This is a rather large building. Perhaps here. A house. Hmm. It seems only a, a bunch of residences here. Not much help can be found. Well, it is either uh, sleep outside under the stars or pull an all-nighter. <laughs> uh, both seem like decent options. What might these uh, fellows at the mine have to say for themselves, hmm? Speak to me. Ah, uh, it is sauna rock mine, not silver rock. I see. Brendar's ears not as uh, good as they should be sometimes. Hello You're there. In control of this mine. No sudden moves. You don't seem like you're in control. You seem uh, a bit nervous, hmm? Does Brandar make you nervous? <laughs> ah, people usually jump when I do that. A six foot tall cat hissing at you can have that effect, you know. Hmm. Where might I find someone who is actually in We're control? In control of this mine. No sudden moves. Sudden moves like this? Yeah! <laughs> Come and get me if you dare. You're hmm? in control of this mine. No sudden ah, moves. He seems to be the leader. You've got We're three lackeys with you? Hmm? No sudden moves. Well, I think I can handle three. Just hold one second. Let me make sure there's no one upstairs. Yes, if this turns badly, I think uh, I might come out on top. I've been hopefully, I can just convince you. Keep this mine safe. Keep your hands to yourself. Safe, you say? Well, you saw what I was going to do there, Need huh? Something. <laughs> naughty, naughty, Kajit. Yes, I was uh, hoping to ask you a couple of questions. The mine is closed. Get lost. Are you the one that is in charge I'm here? I'm not from here. I'm a cell sword. These are my men. These are your men. You're not from here. I know you are from Markarth, and I know you only have three men with you. So let me tell you this, quite bluntly. I want you and your men to Helping leave. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Give me a reason not to plunge a dagger in your chest. <laughs> well, I could give you some gold, but, uh... Well, to keep that as a secondary option. First, I must tell you that the whole town wants you out, so I think it's best for everyone involved if you just leave. Simple enough, yes? Let's see them make us. Hmm. Not working. Well, here. Have this pouch of gold. Maybe you think about it, hmm? I will, stranger. This is more than the Silverbloods are paying us. We'll clear out. Ah, thank you so much. One last question. Could you tell me what the reason is for shutting down the mine? I heard something about the Forsworn. Those are the woodsmen that I've encountered in this region, yes? Forsworn attacked a while back. Jarl had no men to spare. So the Silverbloods generously offered to send us to clean things up. We just want that old native to hand over his land in payment for our services. Then we'll leave. And everyone can get back to work. Mm, good luck right. with that. Mm, well, now if you'll excuse me. 
That seems to be a job well done. They took some gold from Randar and said that they would clear out. We are in control. And if uh, they end up not no, keeping their so word, no. then they can stay here forever and rot. You understand what I mean? I hope that it doesn't come to that. Randar's been spilling quite a lot of blood lately. And if you don't uh, attack me, I won't attack you. But also... Taking my gold and not keeping your word is a bit of an attack as well, is it not? In my opinion, yes. Ah. If he does not let me sleep in his bed after what I've done for him, then uh, I should sleep outside. Uh, he's locked the door as well. Ah. These people, let me tell you. Brendar will find his way in. Hello? My friend! Oh, you sleepy. Sleepy fellow. I've got some good news for you, sleepyhead. Wake up, we have a chat. You're not supposed to be here. Okay, calm You're down. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay, calm You're down, not... though. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Okay, I'm sorry. I just Guards. wanted to tell you. Oh, and he's called the guards. Wonderful. I don't think there are any guards around here. Hmm. Well, Brandar will have a little lie down. Maybe this fellow will feel a bit better in the morning, you know. Ah, uh, Brandar's a bit grumpy too, if he's woken up before uh, his sleep is necessarily over. And only Brandar knows when his sleep is over. <laughs> ah, regardless, I hope that you'll join us tomorrow, friends. Ah, a beautiful day it is. Oh, thank you for waking me up so early, pounding on your house, hmm? If the Forsworn I can't wake you up, but town, you can wake me up. Nordja tried to force me off it. Ah. I'm one of the me, few friend. native sons of the Reach that owns land. Doesn't make me very popular. Yes, not popular, etc. That's fine. I will tell you the cell swords won't be a problem I'm anymore. The last we hear from the silver ones. But at least we can get back to work. Thank you. You've done a good thing for me and my workers. Here, this is for you. Hmm, 600 septums. Yes. Very nice. Thank you so much, friend. Mm -hmm. Ah, a bit of sleep, a bit more gold in my pocket. It's going to be a good day, I can tell you that much. Hmm. I do wonder if I should try and convince that fellow to sell, but... Everyone has a, a right to try and make a life in Skyrim, don't they? It is a bit open to people. As it should be, hmm? As long as too many don't come, then we might be in some trouble. Hmm. Much water here. I wonder if I should be able to find a way across. Ah, and a bridge, just as I needed. Wondrous day. I think that we shall uh, soon be reunited with Richard. We, we might almost be uh, to solitude. It's quite hard to tell. I should have asked that fellow if he had a map that I could borrow. Hmm. Cartwaste and Markar white run down this way. Interesting. Well, my feet are pulling me this way. But there also seems to be a, a tower here. Which begs exploring, hmm? Ah, more of these Forsworn. Hello there! There she goes! You had enough? You haven't had enough. <laughs> I'm sorry it had to be this way, but really I am not. I wonder who these Forsworn are. 
why they've taken up a residence here. Hmm. Something in these lands is quite different. We did not meet any of these fellows before. Part of me says to go uh, help that fellow a bit further and clear out the, uh, the castle of Forsworn there. He does pay a pretty, uh, pretty nice fee. But there are just so many of them. The castle looks so large. I shall keep it in mind for later. At the moment I uh, would like to find my way to Rorikstead. This seems a good idea. I could find that other staff that I was promised. Not the one from the Hag Raven, but from uh, the fellow that I won the drinking contest with. Hmm... He's hidden from me. Shame on him. Oh, well, what is over this way? <laughs> yes. I can always smell a, a campfire from a ways off, hmm? Oh, look at all these. They've been hunting quite a bit. Ah. Very nice. I take this. It's a pretty good time for a catnap, friends. I think I should lay down and do just that. You're not afraid you'll set fire to something? Hmm, Hunter, hello there. Not at all. Brandar is quite in control of his flames. I borrow your bed. Is this okay? I don't have fleas, I promise. Okay. No answer, I take that as a yes. Hmm. I shall see you soon, friends. Ah! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.